Okay, morning meeting, part two. Totally forgot the shout outs and the jokes, and I did that a couple of times last week, and I'm just not doing it again. So sorry um, for the second part of it, all right? So congratulations to Miss Hoagland's class. They've completed their third red oak chart. And we've got some shout outs. Thank you so much to Miss Linton's group. They cleaned up the playground without being asked and they brought in like two full bags of stuff. Guys, please take your clothes off the playground. If you take a coat out, take a coat back in. Um, also, Justin Beard cleaned up a mess in the cafeteria that wasn't his. Ty Zimmer helped a friend pick up their school supplies that fell off their desk. I think I did that one already. Um, Aaliyah Askin helped a friend pick up their lunch that fell in the hallway. Madison Hybers stayed patient and kept a positive attitude while working with a partner. Sulamita Babchenik, Babchenik um, expects ourselves, others, and our place. Josh McDowell um, had a friend slip and fall on the floor that was wet, and he instantly went to get a paper towel and cleaned it up so that no one else would get hurt. Wilder Jedrone and Rosa Baranoff um, helped each other during group work and stayed on task the entire time. Great job, you two. And Bristol Whitey's broke apart a word she didn't know in her reading group. Molecules. That's a big one. Wow. Great job on that one, Bristol. All right. And then a couple of jokes. Um, let's see. Why did the golfer always bring two pair of pants? In case he got a hole in one. Why is a soccer stadium the coolest place in town? Because it's Full of fans. What's the hardest thing about skydiving? The ground. <laughs> um, why did the bowling pins refuse to stand up? Because they were on strike. And what does a runner lose when he wins a race? His breath. <laughs> That's a funny one. So, all right. Have a great day. Sorry about that, guys. Boop.